Hey everyone, this is Tim here with Test Demi. What's up? We're back. Uh, on this next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, building your own modules, right? Like I mentioned earlier in the previous video, you guys uh, have been building your own modules, but you just probably weren't uh, aware of that. So I'm going to show you how to kind of couple and put all that together, you know, to kind of take your programming skills to the next level. So let's jump into it, shall we? Let's go. Let's get it. All right, I'm going to go right into the code here. Uh, and if you see here, let's go ahead and... Um, Actually, we can stay in this mode. Um, if you notice, we still have our previous um, code that we wrote from the previous uh, tutorial where we talked about uh, creating this function for open websites and creating another function for test demi and so forth and calling those functions. Now, those are the built-in functions or, you know, Selenium is a third-party function. Uh, this one is web, web browser is a built-in function that comes with, uh, standard with Python. You guys remember the Python standard library? Well, those are the built-in functions. Those are the third party. But guess what? You can create your own functions. Excuse me. You can create your own modules, right? Those are the built-in modules, I should say. And I shouldn't say function. The third party modules, Selenium, and the web browser is a built-in uh, module that actually comes with Python. Well, you can see all these PY file extensions, and these are all module so whenever you create a file a python code that py the script that's actually a module that you can call or you can actually import into your code so i'm going to show you guys what show you, show you guys that exactly if you guys remember from our previous uh code uh when we worked on functions right we had a particular function where we did uh an addition and i just changed the name here um we have we did a prime number you guys remember that one and also we did one um with multiplication remember when I told you guys to make sure when you make sure I told you guys to go ahead, go ahead and uh, create your own doc strings this was the one I just changed the name of the functions so what we want to do is this particular file as you can see here this own own underscore function number one that py that's a module our own custom built um, module that we're gonna call in our new code but I want to give you guys an understanding of what's going on so you can see within this module we have three functions we defined a multiplication function and what is this function doing It's returning two times two right it's already predefined values the second function here is an addition function and we pass three arguments num1 num2 and num3 and we're returning the addition of these three right and the final uh function we have within this own underscore function one uh that py module is uh to find the prime number if you guys remember the code we used return true if it's a, it is if, if it is a prime number and return false so if you look through this code there's no way we're actually calling it we just have the um the uh functions defined right so if we go back now to our modules and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to i'm going to just go ahead and comment these out remember this is control forward uh forward slash Let's go ahead and comment this out. These are the built-in uh, modules and the actual function that we used to call them. So what we're going to do for our new uh, code here, we're going to do an import. Remember the same import keyword? We want to import a module. Uh, and if you remember, we were importing standard library, uh, Python standard library import, which is the web browser, which came built in with Python. And we imported the uh, Selenium, which is a third-party library. In this case, we're going to import our own library. You got it? Our own, you know? All right, uh, so we're going to import, in this case, if you can see the file, uh, the module name here, own underscore function one, just go ahead and do it, own, you see it, and it gives us the opportunity or the ability to uh, import it, own underscore function one, and you can see where it's housed, and we just go ahead and uh, import that, and you can import any of your own modules also, just do import, uh, and import the actual file name, um, uh, but, but make sure, the main thing when you import it, just make sure it's within the directory, right? Because ours is within our test demo underscore TA. So make sure you're in the right directory so you can actually import it. Uh, but anyway, so we have our info function uh, imported. So let's go ahead and call this function. We're going to say uh, define, uh, we're going to say function one, right? We can call it whatever. And we're going to go and create this function. And what we want to do is, uh, since we just imported this own function, and if you remember when we did web browser, remember we did web browser, we typed in web browser, we imported web browser, if you guys remember, and we did web browser dot and remember there was the get method uh there was the op uh yeah there was the get method there was the open method and there were a lot of other methods we can use and same thing with selenium we have the get method the open the close and so forth so the same thing uh we're going to do here so we create our function but for our own what we're going to do we're going to do own function one that's equivalent to calling the web browser dot and equivalent to calling um web driver dot so we're going to do our own dot and if you notice when we did our own dot ah notice this here the only three available functions here, mult, the multiplication function, 
the addition function you can see it tells us we have three parameters we defined when we created a function from the own function module that I showed you guys in prime underscore number so again see I just hit that and it shows us our, our options here now if I go back uh, pardon me and if I go back here you can see where it's coming from again go on function we have the malt let's go back here that you see we have malt add and prime number so let's go back malt multiplication two times two add and prime number so that's what it's looking at when you when I hit the dot it actually brings those up those three options and that's because we imported it right you import it so you can now actually use that code so you don't have to rewrite code so the whole idea behind methods here or these modules part of me is just to kind of reuse your code and write more efficient code as opposed to trying to type everything again just like when you have uh, the web browser you know someone already created that within web browser dot uh, open somebody that that open method or function somebody already coded that why would I want to go back and code that whole thing up I just have to call it hit dot open put in my uh, website YouTube Facebook lit code test demi or whatever it is and it just opens the website that's how coding is so powerful powerful and efficient and simple if you uh once you begin to learn uh the ropes of it and tricks so if I let's do uh let's go ahead and create some guys so let's do um let's do multiplication right so we do that and all we have to do uh in order to call that you guys remember going to pause how do we call this um, this particular function to run that multiplication method how do we do that pause the video and go ahead and try it on your own okay so for you guys that are still here what we're gonna do is just gonna hit function and that's it and once we call it it's gonna once we call once we call this by uh, typing in this function one uh, open and close parentheses what it's gonna do is gonna go ahead and execute this method here this func uh, or this uh, function so again I know I'm repetitive but you know just uh, just I want to make sure everyone's on the same page what it's going to do is calling this particular line, piece of code and it's going to go ahead and multiply two times two right so when we do it and we call it it's calling that function and we're going to run it uh, actually sorry what we want to do here it's actually running but you guys remember you, who knows what the issue is if you get this you get a bonus go ahead and live if you know what the problem is why it's not actually showing go ahead and leave it in the comment and say uh, tell you know let everyone know that you are actually were able to uh, uh, figure that out so go ahead and pause it and check it out. Uh, before you do, guys that are still here, it's pretty much the print function, okay? That's why it's not actually um, shown. So we can do this, right, and just go ahead and run it, and it's going to print four. As you can see, it prints four here. Or what we can do, uh, you know, just depending on how you want to write your code, you can just do, you can actually say, um, you can just call this uh, multiply. You, can, you know, you can set this variable and inst inst uh, instantiate this variable or this object. You can call multiply, and you know all you have to do is you can just uh, call that multiplication uh, uh, variable right here, something like that. And what it's going to do is going to run it, and it's four. So that's function. Um, we can do, uh, for example, we can also do function two. We can do function two. Open and close parentheses. Do dot, and we can go ahead and do add addition here, right? And uh, what you want to do is you want to do own function one dot. You see your methods right so you want to do add and in that case it wants you to pass three parameters so we can say 9 plus 19 plus 29 right I have no idea what those nines are all, all those nines are about uh, and we can go ahead and run function 2 and you're gonna see it it's gonna go ahead and just add that um, what we can do is don't forget Tim don't forget guys go ahead and call that uh, variable by passing it to the print function you can see it added those three and again this own function dot one this add method or function Again, it was computated here. This is where we actually defined it. But we, we're not going to write this entire code again. We can just call it and utilize it within this new piece of code, within this module's uh, framework here. All right, so let's look at the last method here. Just make sure you guys get good practice. Uh, we can just go ahead and call it function 3, right? Uh, function 3. And what we can do here is we can do prime, uh, prime number. We'll just call it prime num as a variable on function and just do dot um that prime number right and again it's expecting one value so let's go ahead and press the value uh 28 to it right it's expecting that value and all you have to do here let's call function three and go ahead and print print sorry go ahead and print this guy out prime number right and if you go back here again and you can see on the function we already uh we're calling this particular method or this function and it's going to computate the prime number 
so we don't have to do it again. It's the same thing we've been doing with all of the functions. But see how clean this is? Clean code. We don't, have, we don't have a lot of code. It's just pretty simple. But we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of work. And load, notice that it's false because 28 is not a prime number. But we know, for example, uh, the number uh, 47 is a prime number, so it should return true, right? So our code is working. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys that. There's one more thing I want to show you guys. I remember, um, like I mentioned here. Um, if you want to kind of be write more efficient program, sometimes you might not have to call everything. Uh, for example, if all you know, if, for example, if you know you just want to do call the um, the prime, if you want to just computate the uh, prime number, you can just do from uh, own function one. So that's the actual um, module. So you're just saying from that own function one module from this entire module, uh, what you want to do just import right, just import one right. Um, just import, see, you can import add because we know it's there. You can import multiplication or prime number, see? You don't have to import everything. All you can do, like you mentioned last time, we do the asterisk, right? But in this case, let's say let's say we just import just the prime number. So we're just importing just the prime number. It makes our code clean. It, makes, uh, it helps us with memory. and We're more, we're more um, efficient when we actually run our code. So let's go ahead and uh, just kind of comment these out uh, real quick so I can show you guys uh, the difference in this code here. Uh, let's just comment this out because those are not going to work anyway because it, it's not going to recognize them. Uh, let's comment these guys out. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and create a new one, and we'll just call this uh, function four, right? So function four, right? And let's go ahead and say so. In this case, we don't have to do own because if we do own, there's no own. It doesn't recognize it, right? Because all we called within that function was just uh, the prime number only. So we can just make it simple, and we can just hey, who knows what to do? Pause the video, see if you can figure this out. Just call prime number. Simple, right? And just pass the prime number uh, 39, right? And all you have to do now is um, go ahead and call it function, uh, oops, function four, right? That's it. And we can let me just go ahead and uh, wrap this in print function, uh, the print method. And let's go ahead and print this out. And this should just go ahead and print false for this one. Right, you see that? See how much cleaner this code is compared to this calling the own function dot prime number and so forth. In this case, we don't necessarily have to do. It. We can just call prime number, right? And it's the same thing if we did. Um, if we just call, let's say we just call the uh, addition method, right? Uh, you see this here. Uh, all we have to do here, same thing within this print function, just do add. You see, the only option here that comes up uh, is just add. And with the add, really, uh, we just have to pass three. Uh, three uh, parameters we can just press 15 25 and 75 right and go ahead and call it and it should go ahead and comp compute that 115 so just want to show you guys that and remember you can also do the uh, asterisk and that when you do the asterisk you should be able to uh, import um, any particular function that you like here so you can just do uh, you see you can do prime number is available multiplication is available addition is available so all the functions are available for your use um, for your for your use in this particular case when you do the asterisk again because asterisk is important every single function every single def within that particular uh, module that you imported right so I uh, just wanted to show you guys that if you have any uh, questions go ahead and leave it in the comments uh, but don't forget subscribe here on our YouTube page leave any, any comments you have if you like go ahead and like it and most importantly you know um, go ahead and check out testdemy.com if you're looking for a job in queue we have a free course there that will help you out but till then I'll see you you salute in the next video peace much love we'll see you soon we out testdemy.com